Today's micro lesson is on air pressure. A common question that we get from customers with a new blaster is how to set it up. They want to know what types of fittings to use and what they need as far as resources for their house air supply. For this demonstration, we have our dual tank micro blaster and we have our house air supply set to 100 psi connected with 3 8 inch industrial hose. When the machine's turned on, you can hear the vent pinches start to close and then pressure will increase to 60 psi set by our regulator. A common mistake that can be made in blaster installation is not using a large enough air line. So to demonstrate that, we still have 100 psi for our shop air, but this time we've used a smaller quarter inch abrasive hose uh, to connect. And you'll see that when the blaster is turned on, it won't pressurize properly because we can't get enough airflow into the machine. In this case, we're limited to under 80 PSI while we're running. While this isn't a long-term solution, in some cases, if you're not seeing the blaster pressurize properly, you can turn the regulator all the way counterclockwise. That will allow the vent pinches to close and then turn it back to your desired blast pressure. While this isn't a long-term solution, it will help you in the short term until you can get proper plumbing installed at your facility.